This place used to be called Gold Coast. It's called Gold Coast for a reason, because of the gold. But you know, the colonizers come, they take the gold, they sell it for so much money back in the Western world, mm -hmm. and you guys are not really getting much out of that. So it's a lot of money that came from the resources that came from here that was stolen, mm -hmm. and this country is not receiving that, that money. Okay. Same thing with Nigeria with the, the oil, yeah. uh, crude oil. You guys got crude oil yeah, too, yeah. Um, especially in Takradi, because mm -hmm. yeah, I was there, yeah, Takradi. Sure. Um, so it's, we, we, we share similar history, except ours was mo mainly people going over there for slavery. And even after slavery, when blacks tried to become successful, mm -hmm. every time black people try to become successful, something will happen. And Malcolm X got killed by somebody who infiltrated his organization. Yeah. Pretend he was Muslim, studied Muslim, mm -hmm. and killed him. So same, same, same struggle, bro. Oh. And here, we didn't really realize it, but you guys... You know, I'll do my history, 1957, I believe. Yeah, you got true. your independence in 1957. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you guys have a very important president. I forgot his name. He has a statue. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Got a big statue. Yeah. And he's like y'all Nelson Mandela, but I heard he's like bigger than Nelson Mandela, you know? So yeah. um, it's really the same struggle, man. What are some of the things that we can do to break the gap between the diaspora and Africa? Because right now you are in Ghana. Work together. We need to... Uh, African Americans and Africans need to work together. Once a lot of people who live in, whether it's in London, United States, mm -hmm. do your DNA, do the real DNA. The real one. It costs a little bit more money, but mm -hmm. do it. Find out where you're really from, your roots, because we were stripped from ours. Like here, you guys have the American name and a Ghana name. Yeah. So like I meet a girl, I'm like, what's your name? She's like, Jessica. I say, what's your Ghana name? Yeah. And then she'll be like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, she'll say a name like like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, my Ghana name is Atanga. It means a rock. Atanga. It means rock. What day were you born? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Sunday. Sunday. So yeah. you're a Kwesi. Yeah, I'm a Kwesi. I'm a Sunday. Yeah. You, you knew about it? Yeah. I oh. knew I was a Sunday. Mm -hmm. and, and you are called a Kwesi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we, it's hard for us because our last names changed. So we don't know where, we, you know, they took the last names and we don't know where we came from. Mm -hmm. um, so people need to find out where they come from, work together, invest together, and it'll be better. Now, Africa itself, this is a big continent. If Africa was to unify, mm -hmm. no, I sh nobody can stop would be able to stop them and they would make the most money if they could unify. It happened, it almost happened, mm -hmm. but obviously just like Malcolm X and all these people yeah. that got killed, the person who tried to do it, mm. a lot of African countries are waking up, mm -hmm. a lot. I've been watching, man, social media, mm -hmm. a lot of them are waking up. Will you be shocked to get married to an African lady? Would I be shocked if yeah, I married an African yeah. lady? No, I wouldn't be shocked. You wouldn't be shocked? No. Is it in the process? No, it's not in the process. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but uh, I like uh, I'm I'm into black women. Okay. I like you know what I am. I'm into black women. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it doesn't matter what type where she's where from. from. Okay. I'm more and I'm not saying I wouldn't date someone who's not black. Okay. But I'm more into that's my preference. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm into brown yeah. skin, mm -hmm. tan, honey, cinnamon. I'm into and it, and then when they're even dark skin, when it's that beautiful dark silky, mm -hmm. I love that too. So. Um, and different, the culture, people from different countries, mm -hmm. they think different. They have, uh, the mentality that they have is different. First thing I notice is when, you know, you go out with a woman and then she pours your drink for you or yeah. she, the little things that she does and you're not paying attention to, you know what I'm saying? And that's, those is what I look at in women. All right, so if you are there, snappy. <laughs> yeah, so he, because he already told you what he likes, so if yeah. you think you have that, come on, make it snappy. Advice to the diaspora watching you. Save your money, guys. If you, you know, I've, I, I worked, I saved my money. I was able to, I'm able to travel, save your money. I would say no matter what, come, it's priceless. Come to Africa, regardless what choice of country you choose, maybe do the DNA or maybe try to do like three countries or four or five countries. But come to Africa and, and at least get to experience it for yourself, no matter what. And it's, it's, it, it's priceless. Because when I do it, honestly, I don't think about the money because from what I've learned um, and my experience. What, what are some of your culture shocked in Ghana? Development, um, uh, the, uh, a lot of rich areas. Oh, wow. Um, um, a lot of, uh, even the nightlife, even like partying, seeing that shocked me. Like how, seeing how much. 
how like nice these places are, bro. That shocked me. And the you um, you know, things like that is really <laughs> shocking, bro. Like I didn't know this growing up. Thank goodness to now the social media. The social media. It's just like all these people who get shot by cops or not all cops are bad, you know. I met some cops at the festival that was from the United States, mm -hmm. and, you know, just in case they were. <laughs> not all cops are bad, <laughs> but uh, just like all these people that's getting killed or all the uh, racist things that happen, okay. just imagine before social media. Mm -hmm. This is because social media yeah, is alive. So the ones that have not been captured, yeah, so it's, just imagine the just ones. Just imagine without, yeah. when they didn't have, when we know social media. So, it's, so that's how it is. Now, now you got social media, you can see Africa, mm -hmm. you can see this, you can see on the Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, you can see all this stuff and you can go out and visit the country yourself and see what's, what's so amazing. For me, it's the culture. It's the culture, seeing, you know, the, the culture, the lifestyle and the food, you know, and seeing where people from other countries get certain things, how, you know, some pe group of people from this country go and be enslaved in another country and you mm -hmm. see they're still practicing the roots yeah. from that country. When you come to that country, you see that. Yeah. So those are the things. But what is one something you never like about Ghana? What I don't like about Ghana? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, obviously this is for tourists. Okay. Is sometimes, you know, tourists, we're, we don't like do certain things like you, like some people, hey, get, get, get. We don't do that. Yeah. So the, the, the people who ask for money, they know that. Mm -hmm. So they would sit there and stay with us the whole time and just keep walking to, to the point where we give up and we give them something. Wow. You know what I'm saying? As long as you give them something, they leave you alone. But they don't, it's not. It's not. It shouldn't be yeah, like that. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like, yeah. like that. Like, yeah, but like, I feel like if you give them one CD, mm -hmm. I don't even know what one CD is. So just think about having a whole bunch of 10 cents. 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 yeah. cents. And maybe at the end of the day, you gave away $2. No, but my problem is, I don't like when someone try to tell you a fake story and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they ask you and don't written, they forgot that they asked you and they end up, and you gave, and then they ask again. Again, and then they, they will come back again. Yeah, right, so it's just like US, man. People, some people use the money on drugs and they, you know, so it's just like the US. No, but this, this, this are some of the things they have to stop because I've been a victim before. Mm. And it's not like I was alone, I was with, you know, some African Americans, Caribbeans, mm -hmm. um, you know, even Ghanaians as well, some African countries and other stuff, you know, sometimes I go on the tour with them, you know, so I've seen this and it's not that cool. It's, it's something that um, I think the government should do something about it. So if you are watching me and uh, you from the government, uh, please, let's try to clean, clean up, up, you know, yeah. clean up. Uh, Manage that. Yeah, so, Manage. so that's. You know, it will be very smooth for everybody. Yeah. At least, at least it will, it will be more. Yeah, slow it down, and then because it will be more because December is coming. Mm -hmm. It's not just December that we are looking into. Like over the years, a lot of things are happening, and Ghana being the gateway of Africa mm -hmm. and the motherland, mm -hmm. you have to keep it as clean as we can. Mm -hmm. You know, so that it can help everybody. If you have one question that you think I should have asked you, or you wish I could have asked you, what would be that question? Um. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no question. You, you did pretty good, bro. You did straight. I don't think it's. Oh, okay. Which, <laughs> uh, here goes question. Uh, which Af which since you know which country that I've been to in Africa has the most beautiful women? Hey, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Which African countries that you've been that has the most beautiful women? We gonna start. We gonna say this. Mm -hmm. It started off slow in Ghana. Okay. But I went to this event. Yesterday, you already know. Yeah. And I couldn't believe how many beautiful women I saw, bro. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? where y'all live? Where y'all <laughs> Beautiful women, sometimes you got to go places to find them. You know what I mean? They're just not in the streets like that. That's true. So I'm like, I was shocked. I didn't know it, bro. Like, yeah, but even though I went to the clubs and mm -hmm. I seen it, but so many in one place. Yeah, that's true. Um, Then I would say South Africa. South Africa. So Ghana, South Africa. Yeah, I'd say Ghana, South Africa. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, wow. Some beautiful women. Uh, South Africa has some beautiful, beautiful women. Yeah. Their, their beauty from top to bottom. bottom. And then especially bottom. Gosh. South Africa got it. Mm -hmm. is crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. The guys who get these women that's looking for opportunity, this is how I see it. If you meet a woman mm -hmm. on social media, yeah. look at what she's selling. Mm -hmm. If you see her at the beach or dressed up nice or at an event or at this or with family friends taking mm -hmm. pictures she's selling you herself yeah but you see a woman that's always showing you her mm -hmm. body 
what is she selling? selling. You. Yeah, that's true. So when you get with that type of woman, obviously she's looking for opportunity. So it's, it's really the choices that these guys pick. They want to pick the ones that's that's cleavage, showing cleavage. When that one that's pretty, that's she might have that one beach picture. You can see something. Yeah. You know, okay. Try to holler at those types. Yeah. Thank you so much. I have so many questions that I need to ask you, but time is on our side. I'm going to get him back here again on Epic It Was YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed, like and share. He has also a YouTube channel. Please, can you introduce your YouTube channel for them to go like and share? Uh, if you haven't already, my YouTube channel is called Check in Effect. Check is spelled C Z E C H I N E F F E C T. Check in Effect. As soon as you put check, it should pop up on YouTube. I'm a world traveler. All this stuff that I'm talking about, that's with the experience that I had traveling. So check out my channel. It's going to show you food, lifestyle. My channel, I try to show you the real and I try to keep it raw. Yeah. Mostly unedited. Most yeah. of my stuff is unedited. I have to edit certain things because of YouTube, music, yeah. and maybe some women, some, some, you know, women might be doing breastfeeding yeah. or something like, you know, things like that. But it's raw. It's... If we're going somewhere, I'll show you how it is. leaving, how I got in an Uber cab, how much cab rides cost, little things I showed you, man, how much little small things cost and how to avoid people trying to overcharge you. Bro, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for, Yeah, man, no yeah. problem, bro. My hands are very... All right, bro. so peace out. Peace out.